the perimeter of a square is the same as the perimeter of an equilateral triangle. Find the length of one side of the square and one side of the triangle. So the thing about a square is all four sides are equal and the perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. So if this side here is 2x plus 1, for the square, we would need to multiply that by 4. So we take 2x plus 1, put it in brackets, and multiply by 4. An equilateral triangle is a triangle where all three lengths are the same. Therefore, the perimeter of an equilateral triangle will be 3x minus 2 times 3. Now, the perimeter of this shape is the same as this shape. So we'll put them equal and then we'll solve the equation. First thing to do is to expand the bracket. So 4 times 2x gives me 8x. 4 times 1 gives me 4. That's equal to 3 times 3, which is 9x. And then 3 times minus 2, which gives me minus 6. Then if we take, uh, look at the 8x and the 9x. Obviously, that's smaller, so we take 8x from both sides. We're going to get that 4 on this side, and then 9x minus 8x gives me x, so we get x minus 6. The opposite of taking 6 is to add 6 to both sides. 4 plus 6 gives me 10, and then x minus 6 plus 6 just gives me x, so we get the value of x. So, in order to find the length of one side, we need to substitute that value back into there for the square and that for the triangle. So the length of a side of the square is going to be two times x, so two times 10 plus one. Two tens are 20 plus one, which makes 21. The length of a side of an equilateral triangle, so that's three x minus two. So we're gonna do three times x, which is 10, take away two. 3 times 10 is 30, take away 2, which gives me a length of 28. So the length of the side of the square is 21, and the length of the side of the equilateral triangle is 28. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to form and solve equations using shapes. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.